everyone. Welcome back to PA Organic Garden. Just wanted to take a second and show you all what's been going on. Uh, fall plants are looking good. Still got tomatoes coming and peppers. Uh, so come on and check it out. Today we'll start with the potted plants. And see here's the lemon that I started from seed. I'll be taking all these indoors here within the next probably two weeks. There's the pineapples that I started, the one I started in soil, the one I started in water. Here's my Meyer lemon tree. You can see my lemons still turn yellow. And I got a couple blooms also. banana, the dwarf Cavendish banana actually, it's still looking good, I'm probably going to try to dig up some of these secondary banana plants and uh, put them in separate pots when I take this plant inside, well right before I do at least. Here are the barrels that I put in, uh, you can see I still haven't got around to mulching it yet. I'll probably have the extra time here at the end of the month. So the beginning of October, probably I'll get it all mulched. You can see the lettuce, Swiss chard. There's the dinosaur kale that I still haven't pinned out. And there's the box of randomness. I did try a bit of the arugula and I really didn't care for it. Uh, I mean, it was like it was described, you know, it had that slightly spicy uh, hint to it. Spicy quality. But uh, yeah, I just didn't care for that. I still got new asparagus crowns shooting up all the time. This freaking grate is getting annoying. I'm gonna have to try to either take it out or maybe trellis it up and just grow some grapes next year. Then uh, you can see I ripped out a few of the tomato plants, but I still have tomatoes coming so. Peppers here, you can see there's a Hungarian wax, it's ripe. I'm gonna have a few more of them. Ghost peppers. I have more peppers than I really know what to do with at this point. There's another ghost pepper. Oh, okay. Here's the Carolina Reaper plant, which is about four. Four and a half feet tall, I'm gonna say. But definitely have a bunch of ripe ones, as you can see. I've been harvesting these daily also, making hot sauces. Uh, check out my hot sauce video. Oh, there's a little, can you, can you all see that spider? That's an interesting looking one. The only tomato plants that are actually still really producing tomatoes are the large red and the Chadwick cherry. Uh, anyways, that brings us to what, this ghost pepper bush. And I call it a bush because, I mean, look at the thing. It's definitely a bush. So many peppers in there. It's absurd. And 
and the bell peppers. Uh, I think I just harvested all the red ones the other day, but uh, I'm actually taking a bunch in to my master gardener class next week, so hopefully I get some red ones by then. Now there's one. And you can see here how the branch snapped from the way of the peppers. So I'll probably just end up harvesting this one today. Oh, I only lost one pepper, so that's not too bad. That one's definitely edible. So if you remember from my last update video, I think it was, uh, I had this volunteer plant popped up from my uh, compost pile. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but now I have some fruit on it. Got that one there, and that one there. Uh, I'm gonna say watermelon or cantaloupe. Not quite sure which. Probably watermelon, maybe some type of hybrid. Uh, you can actually see the skin. Right here has some fuzz on it. I'm thinking watermelon. I'll probably have to end up supporting it somehow. that's about it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.